All right, so let me give you a couple tips about using the pocket hole jig. Now, uh, you might already know these, but maybe you don't, but I'm going to share with you. So one of the things that I like doing on mine is that I attach it to literally just a scrap piece of wood. Uh, this plywood actually has some holes drilled in it, and uh, it's, you know, sitting in my scrap bin. So I just screwed this to this piece here. And this allows me to go ahead and, you know, clamp this down or get this down onto a surface so it's nice and solid when I'm going to use it. When I'm not using it, I can easily put it away. I don't have to unscrew everything. I just set it, set it all out of the way until, you know, it's needed again. Now, the other thing, too, is that it's worth it to have the vacuum system on here. It keeps everything clean. It prevents the holes from getting a bunch of um, sawdust and chips in them. And I actually found that when I use my uh, vacuum for the entire shop here, that it doesn't pull out as quickly as my actual shop vac does. The shop vac has a much smaller hose. It seems to have a much greater capacity of suction on this small opening here, and it pulls the chips right in. When I actually use my uh, you know, vacuum for the entire shop, uh, it has a four inch opening which goes down to the smaller ones, and it just doesn't seem to get the same amount of chips out of there. Chips seem to fly out, and they seem to get caught and everything. So uh, I found that if you hook it up to a regular shop vac, for me, it seems to work a little better. Now, if you have a drill like this you're using, uh, make sure that it's set on the drill setting uh, because that's going to allow it to go uh, not engage the clutch. Like when you're putting in screws, you know, you could set a different uh, intensities here so that the clutch engages, you know, at, at one point so that the screw doesn't go uh, bury itself in. You want to make sure that it's on the screw so that it doesn't stop. And then also, if you have a slow speed, and a fast speed, you definitely want this on the fast speed. It's going to give you a cleaner cut in plywood and wood when you're making the uh, holes for the pocket hole screws. Now, last little tip is to make sure that the side that you want down, the side's going to be facing down inside the cabinet. Like these, are, This is going to be the base, and i got some shelves that I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to make sure that the side that's facing down is the number two side of the plywood, the one that doesn't look as good. The good side, I'm going to make sure it's going to be up. So I always want the side that's going to be facing down towards me when I'm making these holes in it. So that's just some quick tips on using the pocket hole jig and making it a little bit easier for you to store it, um, clean out the chips, drill the holes, and install the shells. Thanks for joining me this week on the quick tip, and hopefully you'll be here again next week. Mm -hmm.